this season was um, more an exploration of things that I've done in the past and, and wanted to evolve and um, try in different ways. We're just playing, we're playing. We played around with the different looks, um, trying the clothes on, and we settled with this strong eyebrow. And it's kind of painted on, it's like a little sketch. It's not, you know, it's not naturalistic by any you know, stretch of the imagination. And um, it just looked, looked best in the clothes. The girls are most interesting, look strong. Narciso's stuff, he, you know, his style evolves. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't do a 360 every season. We know where he's coming from. Thank you, man, that's good. You okay, thank you. You know, he doesn't change tack every season. So, you know, there's always gonna be a sharp line. There'll be curves, there'll be detail. And it just seemed to make sense to use something quite graphic to tell the story of the clothes and the girls. You know, we, we have this conversation every season. I'm like, oh, come on, we got to do the hair down. It's like, yeah, but you know, it kind of works better when it's done. I'm like, yeah, I know, but you know, let me try. <laughs> do you know, you know what I mean? So we're always kind of thinking about changing what we're doing and breaking a pattern that we've kind of had over the years. Clothes are really, they're like incredibly beautiful. There's lots of details in them that are very graphic. And I wanted to do something that had a graphic quality to it, but not a hardness. This time, it seems to have worked. Do we have seating assignments for Kelly Rutherford? Narcisa's one of my best friends, so I've come just to support him. Um, I used to do his show years ago, and now um, he always invites me, so whenever I can come, I come. I think for me it was um, uh, taking taking lines that are my lines, which are usually so you know straight and architectural or, or angular, uh, and curving them, um, which you know you could you can change one line and, and create something completely different, change the way it fits, change the way it looks, um, change the color of things by by cutting them out in curves and then piecing them back together. Um, that kind of gremlin work. I think more the spirit of gremlins and uh, a little bit of, of fun and uh, controlled chaos. Narciso never fails to disappoint and you know once again this tour de force I like modern clothes and I am so sick of seeing all this contrived uh, you know pseudo vintage everything you see nice sleek clothes not a ball gown in this in this group but these clothes so sleek and he gives you what he gave you last season but like turks it up a little bit with the color block with um, just all the detail, uh, the little cutouts here and there, the little sliver of skin showing. I mean, you know, just just fantastic. I saw a lot of uh, really interesting sort of contrasts and colors, and a lot of kind of uh, the seaming and the puzzle piecing that he's really famous for. But it looked, um, I don't know, it looked a little bit uh, more intricate this time, a little bit more covered up. I guess that makes sense, it's for fall. But I mean, it really looked like sort of quintessential Narciso. This is my second time doing his show and uh, I just love his stuff, his works, he's amazing. So like three, 
three days ago, I didn't get um, confirmation for this. So I was like, I called my agency, what is going on? I want to do his show. So I got a casting and then he liked me again. So it happens, but like I was so worried if I'm not doing his show again. So yeah, I'm so happy to be here today. It's kind of simple, but very complicated in a beautiful way. And the colors are kind of simple, but this time is like I see orange and yellow and red, like you know, um, vivid color too. So, yeah. There are many colors. I, I worked with um, different pigment dyes to create these great painted panels that were almost spray painted in, in different tones um, and they range from tea, like very different colored blacks like black green and black blue through red to silver to create green I mean they, they're uh, I worked with an artist who, who did some really great work with those and then I took them and you know they were they became a, a part of the, the basis for the color story. So I wanted to take those colors and cut them in circles and then put different circles in different spots and then make clothes, you know, put them back together and then make clothes out of that material. So there was a little bit of, um, of colors that, that were askew. So are women who are kind of like me who I you know you get a style and you stay with it I mean I've been wearing I wear sheath dresses um, you know very kind of sleek lines I sit out trends that I don't like and I think the Narcissa woman is like that she likes that modern look she likes the scuba dress she likes the zippers she likes solid colors not prints and she wants that every season give her something new give her a variation of that that's what she wants Fall um, can be, for me, a more exciting season to work on because you, ha you have a bigger variety of, of materials that you can work with. You can work with cotton and, and cotton and wool and silk and silk and wool, and wool and cashmere, and it's a challenge, but we get to reinvent ourselves every six months. Mm -hmm. 